Hey everyone, we're going to talk about the distributive property. And I have here an example. Evaluate the expression using the distributive property and mental math. And what does this problem mean? It means that we're trying to do mental math. Even though we're writing in our notebooks, we want to try and find a way to make this easier to do mentally and not just multiplying three times 97. Remember, these parentheses means multiplication. So they're asking us 3 times 97. How much that how much is that? Well, it's very easy to just go here to the side, right? And multiply 97 times 3. But instead of doing this, I want you to try and do this in your head mentally. So how does the distributive property help us to do this kind of problem in our heads? And that's what this question is asking, okay? Evaluate it pretending you're doing it in your head, what would help you? How does the distributive property help you do that? And this is how it helps us. This is what they mean. I take 3 times, and then inside this parentheses, instead of 97, I'm going to break up 97 into a sum of 90 plus 7. Okay? How does this help? Well, in your head, you say, well, 3 times 90 is 270 using the distributive property, right? This is 3 times 9 is 27. You add a 0, you get 270. And then I can do 3 times 7, which is 21. And there you've reached that 270 plus 21 is 291. And you can do that in your head by using the distributive property. So that's one way the distributive distributive property will help. Let's do another example. Let's say I want you to use the distributive property to find this result by using mental math. 6 times 103. If you were to do this mentally, this would be a little bit difficult. So let's take advantage of the distributive property and break up 103 into 100 plus 3. And now it's very simple. 6 times 100, 600. 6 times 3, 18. 600 plus 18, 618. You see how fast you can do that in your head if you broke this number up? So that's how we use the distributive property. 6 times 100 is 600. I have a plus, so bring down that plus. And then 6 times 3, that gives you 18. And then you simply add 618, and there's your answer. And there you have it. This is part one of a series of videos. I will do more examples on the distributive property using variables. I'll see you in the next video.